Hey what's up guys, it's me Kevin and I'm back for another video. So for today, may bago na naman tayong keyboard na titignan. Unbox natin at i-share ko sa inyo yung impressions ko sa kanya. This is not a review, no? So check ko lang yung laman, kung maganda ba yung build quality. Very, uh, ano lang, subtle um, impression nga dun sa keyboard. This is the Fancy Alice 66. Nabili ko siya sa Shopee around 4,500. Mga ganun, may voucher kasi ako dun. But... This retails for about 5,000 pesos. So, ito yung very first keyboard ko na ergonomic. So, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung features nito at yung kasama sa package. So, tara, let's go check out this keyboard. Okay guys, uh, this is my current uh, uh, main keyboard, the Lychee G66 Pro keyboard. That's the Fekker IK75 uh, version 3. Here's the super light. The, the most uh, amazing mouse build <laughs> and this is the fancy of course this is the fancy alice 66 keyboard 66 percent 66 keys let's open up the box ah, 2022 yeah actually in the packaging yeah i'll link i'll, I'll leave a link down below kung saan ko siya nabili, no? you can check it out check out yourself yung features niya doon sa description meron din ililigay ko rin sa description com down below so, meron siyang, of course, extra screws, yung uh, gaskets mount niya, hindi daw. The gaskets, so, lagay din natin yan. So, uh, this is, of course, your PCB. Yeah, fancy Alice, Fancy Tech Alice 66. Yeah. So, this is a south-facing RGB. I think this is RGB, no? Yes, this is RGB, uh keyboard so this is the the frosted white version yan kung titingnan ko rito meron meron siyang flex no hopefully pag nakabit na natin yung PCB meron pa siyang may give siya no para hindi stiff yung pag type so layered siya sa ilalim naman is uh, actually wala yung asa na yung pad niya meron tong pad niya kinakabit Hmm, where is it? Ayan, may mga screws dito just to disassemble it. Uh, let me check out the rest of the, the product. Dito yung Type-C na sa likod, sa gitna. Okay, so far, uh, wala naman siyang masyadong flex. May konti, no, since this is a, a plastic na, na, na base. But it's not that heavy, no, may, may kagaanan siya. Not as heavy of course, yung sa mga build na mas mabigat pa tayo yung G66 ko if I'm not uh, mistaken So there are a total of 8 screws at the top So tanggalin muna natin yan I think yung may something sa loob, no? I think yun yung parang uh, pang raise nung, nung keyboard nandun sa loob uh, Let's try to open this up Let's go Flexible. I think this is the, if I'm not mistaken, the polycarbonate plate. This is the foam. I think this is a poron foam for the keyboard. No? Matabarin siya. Oh. Very thick layer of foam. And then yung pinakailalim foreign foam then is the sa ilalim this is the of course your razor para sa likod ikakabit natin here dito let's remove this uh, brown thing <laughs>
Okay, so nagawa na natin yung ilalim. So nakabit ko na yung tatlong layer ng um, para ang mga tsya. Then nilagay ko yung mga screws here. So yan na siya. Tinanggal ko na rin yung um, brown na sticker dito. So let's proceed with the next step. So yun, no? so wala pa tayong stabs. So uh, ibabalik ko muna sa sa stock niya, no. Babalik natin isa-isa. So yan. Yan yan. And then lalagyan natin ng gaskets here sa mga ganito. At 'wag niyo kalimutan sa ilalim. Lalagyan din yan for maximum flex. Alright, so nakabit ko na yung mga gaskets, poron gaskets. So, I think it's time to place it on the board itself. May follow-up video ko no, na complete build na to with uh, sound test and everything. Um, dito is, uh, I'm just building it from the ground up. So, I'm just uh, filling in kung ano yung experience ko building this one. I think it's very straightforward, very easy to build and the build quality is okay, it's not the best kasi lasting nga siya but sa, sa itsura, sa, sa kasama niya, for the package, for, for everything, so far so good. So yun na, try na natin na buuin and let's see yung um, my final thoughts on this board. Okay, so it's almost done. May flex siya, no? By the help of those forons. So, uh, meron tayong final video nito. As I said earlier, so hindi siya ganito yung final na flex niya. So, of course, yeah. Yeah. So, tighten up na natin. Screw na natin. Okay guys, so na, na build ko na siya uh, and my first impression was really um, the most bang for buck I think in my opinion sa mga Alice na ergonomic keyboard. This is the cheapest uh, na nakita ko for this layout for the 60% and above layout and RGB na siya at QMK and VIA software na rin siya na, na capable, no? na so compatible siya doon so you can customize the keys and um, customize the RGB lights and type C na rin siya and of course ito yung likod niya uh, pakita ko lang sa inyo this is RGB meron siyang stand dito for more um, uh, comfortable typing experience so far um, hintayin nyo yung next video ko I'll be building this keyboard from uh, putting uh, stabs and lubing them and putting switch and keycaps and all of that may sound test tayo so be sure to 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 subscribe and like this video so and in, 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 in click the notification so pag nagpost ako na next video mapapanood nyo yung performance nitong keyboard na to so far i'm very impressed ililink ko sa baba yung link ko sa ko siya nabili at uh, good luck guys sa paghanap ng keyboard i hope this is my last keyboard for the year because sobrang gasas ng keyboard market ng keyboard hobby and 
I'm really broke right now. So, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.